We introduce BEV, a one-stage method for regressing multiple 3D people and their relative depth from a single image. From a single RGB image, BEV estimates the 3D poses and relative depths of all the people in the scene. Such depth reasoning goes beyond work on body pose capture, enabling many applications. The most related methods are ROMP and CRMH. ROMP is a one-stage method for monocular regression of multiple 3D people. Given a single RGB image, ROMP estimates three maps, a body center heat map for 2D human detection, a camera map for positioning, and a mesh parameter map containing simple body model parameters. During inference, ROMP samples the parameter vectors at the body centers to get the final results. ROMP represents the 2D location of people and doesn't reason about their depth. CRMH is a multi-stage method that learns depth reasoning. CRMH introduces two loss functions to avoid collision and to learn depth of ordering for overlapping people. However, CRMH has difficulty learning depth relations from natural cases without overlapping people. We observe two key challenges in this task. First, the 2D representations employed by most existing methods do not explicitly model depth. Therefore, we develop an explicit 3D representation to represent people in 3D. Second, existing methods only model adults and assume everyone is of adult height. This induces a depth bias for children and infants. To address this, we introduce an augmented version of SIMPLE called SIMPLE A that captures body shapes from infants to adults. BEV is trained to exploit this and take age into account in estimating depth. To achieve this, we need several things. First, to alleviate the ambiguity of a front view 2D representation, we introduce an additional imaginary bird's eye view representation of people in depth. In this way, we can explicitly model the depth of people and learn a powerful 3D representation. BEV takes its name from the imaginary bird's eye view. Second, accurate 3D annotations for humans and images in the wild are limited. To train our 3D representation, we develop a weekly supervised training scheme. This enables BEV to learn age and depth ordering from weak annotations. Given a single RGB image, BEV outputs five 2D maps, two for coarse detection, two for fine localization, and one for mesh parameter regression. By composing the front view and the bird's eye view maps, we can obtain a 3D center map and a 3D offset map. The 3D center map represents the coarse 3D position of each detected body center. With the location of these detected body centers, we sample at the corresponding locations in the 3D camera anchor map and 3D offset map to obtain the 3D anchor vector and 3D offset vector. The sampled 3D camera anchor vector represents the coarse 3D body center position in a predefined camera space. To obtain the fine 3D translation of each person, we add the sampled 3D offset vector to the sampled 3D camera anchor vector to refine the localization prediction. Then we use the estimated 3D translation to sample the mesh feature map at position XY. We encode the estimated depth and add it to the sampled mesh feature vector. Finally, we regress the simple A parameters from the combined feature vector. To support the in-the-wild monocular human depth reasoning, we collect a new data set named Relative Human, or RH for short. We annotate the relative depth layer of people as well as their rough age group. For instance, the left image presents adults in three depth layers and the right image shows a teenager, baby, and adult in the same depth layer. Additionally, we also develop two novel loss functions to learn from these weak annotations. We perform quantitative and qualitative experiments to measure how BEV performs in comparison with previous methods. We evaluate BEV on the challenging in-the-wild relative human, CMU panoptic, and synthetic Agora kids datasets. On relative human, we report the percentage of correct depth relations between the ground truth depth layer and the estimated 3D translation. On CMU panoptic, 
we report the mean per joint position error between the ground truth and the estimated 3D pose in millimeters. On Agora, we report the detection metric, or F1 score. We also report normalized mean vertex error, or NMVE, between the ground truth 3D body mesh and the estimated one, which is normalized by F1 score. This chart shows the depth reasoning accuracy of the recent state-of-the-art methods on the relative human dataset. 3D MPPE and CRMH are multi-stage methods that learn depth reasoning. BEV improves the depth reasoning accuracy relative to these state-of-the-art methods by a significant margin, especially in young groups. This chart shows the 3D pose error of the recent state-of-the-art methods in crowded scenes from the CMU Panoptic dataset. MSC and 3D CrowdNet are multi-stage methods that estimate the 3D mesh of multiple people. Compared with these state-of-the-art methods, BEV significantly reduces the 3D pose error. On Agora Kids, two charts present the F1 score and NMVE. All methods have been fine-tuned on Agora or synthetic data generated in the same way as Agora. BEV significantly outperforms these state-of-the-art methods in both detection and mesh reconstruction of children. We also perform qualitative comparisons between BEV, CRMH, and ROP on challenging Internet images. Notice that previous methods misplace children in depth. If children are mistaken as adults, the fact that they are shorter means that previous methods place them farther away from the camera. Occlusion also causes problems for previous methods. In conclusion, we introduce a one-stage method for regressing multiple 3D people and their relative depths. To alleviate the ambiguity of pure 2D representations, we introduce a novel bird's-eye view representation that enables BEV to reason about 3D from a 2D image. We also introduce a new data set and a weekly supervised training scheme to learn depth and age from weak annotations. BEV is more accurate than state-of-the-art methods in terms of depth reasoning, child shape estimation, and robustness to occlusion. Thanks for your time.